We are now properly live and we're very widened out. So what we have to do is go up here, Nadine, and press that. And then it's us really there, warts and all. So good morning, everybody. I'm sorry we've had such technical problems. We're here in the bathroom with the delightful Nadine Baggett. Nadine's ladies, good morning. Welcome to my bathroom, because Nadine is filming Trini's it as well. with me. And, um, <laughs> and I'm so excited to have Nadine in the bathroom because we've had a mixture of ladies recently. But Nadine, to me, is in the Caroline Herons. Hiram's group. Caroline oh, do you know Hiram's what? Group. I was texting her last night and I said, I bet she's expect watching. to be name checked, Caroline. Anyway, it's, it's, I'd love to do actually one day the three of us. Oh, I don't know if there'd be room for anyone else to get a word in edgeways, but what I think I love about you, Nadine, which we'll discuss further, is your nitty gritty knowledge taken from being a kind of guinea pig yourself for many years and then going in and talking rather toughly to people who, who tried to kind of say this is what we do and this is what this cream does and you're going but does it really and I've watched Nadine's YouTube channel and her vlogs and she just says it how it is so we really really love that um so I'm just going to say good morning to one or two people because they're all down there Hello, Lucia. morning Amanda Hello, Dominica. good morning um Vanessa Technique Changing Morning, good morning. I know Tech Changing. Is it all right now? Maria, Isabella, Candice, Jordi, Monica. Monica, Marcia, Steph, uh, Sue, Heidi, Jordi. All right, ladies. So we're going to start off, and I'm just going to get that Nadine Bag Facebook Live calendar notification That's out of the way. That's it. Now, as you'll that. notice, um, Nadine, Two technically challenging women, women, can I and just say. Nadine is beautifully made up this morning. We're going to discuss that, and I have no makeup on. So she's on stage. I'm going to do my stack. And I'm going to, first of all, sh you're going to show me the products that you brought in because I feel I might be the guinea pig. Okay, let's, should we talk skincare first? I think we should talk skincare first. And I had asked you ladies to post some questions. And the problem was, after I did that, in my menopausal state, it I went out the window. So I haven't read your questions. I'm really sorry. So could you repost them now? And we've got Alex in the back room because everyone from social media is in Winchester or outside London. So lovely Alex has come in to take some questions and she's going to fire us questions, but she hasn't done it before. So we've got to let her okay. run to ask right. questions. So Alex, anytime you have a really good question, let me any get question. Back here because basically when I knew I was filming with Trini, yep. I said to her, what do you want to do? Should we do favourite products, favourite gadgets? She said everything. We're everything. But, but I think we need, stop. it's good to have process. So let's say if we've got a 40 minute show today, what we're going to do is we're going to start. Oh, we're going to be organised. We're going to be a tiny bit organised because I think it's really helpful for you ladies if we are a little bit. So I asked Nadine when she gave me this lovely list of things to bring the tools she can't live without because we all want to know what are the tools we can use which are between what we do in our bathroom and what some we can do in a doctor's chair. Mm -hmm. What sits in the middle? Because that's really exciting. And then your five products you couldn't live without. Yeah. Which I think is fantastic because we always like to know from a beauty guru what those are. So yeah. what do you want to start with? Okay, I'm going to start with something that you have never heard of, which I can't believe it, which is the makeup eraser. And this is still damp from this morning. Yeah. Now, you know that Caroline loves her flannels. I'm addicted to flannels. Yeah. I use muslin cloths, the whole thing. Yeah. The makeup eraser. When you do your home cleaning, yeah. do you ever use a microfiber cloth? No, I use um, Foreo. Okay. Because okay. that's, that's uh, you know, but that's you, my oh, tool. Because eye makeup, how do you get rid of your eye makeup? Eye makeup. You can't use Foreo around your eye, can you? I do. Do you? <laughs> Because I kind of break it up here. I mean, I know you shouldn't because I'm a bit rough with things, but what can I ask you? Are you prepared to do it now? Oh, if I show you, yes. if I was to show you what this was like, yeah. basically what this is, is it's just a microfiber cloth. Let's hold it, it up feels so like, It feels yeah. like a child's soft toy. It's that sort of nylon-y, fluffy child's yeah. toy thing. Yeah. But basically what it is, it's a microfiber cloth that boosts the performance of every cleanser you use. Okay, so you so use it with a cleanser. Of, you can use it just with water. They advertise it as just with water. I wouldn't use it just with water, but I have done on a flight. Yeah. But then Caroline told me off I was flying with Caroline. She went, oh, filthy woman. Filthy where's your, woman. Where's I, your cleanser? Yeah, where's your cleanser? Yeah. But basically what it does is it's a microfiber cloth. You can stick it in the washing machine on 60, 90 degrees, yeah. boil wash it, yeah. just like a flannel. But it's more efficient than a flannel and it's softer on your skin. And these microfibers yeah. basically absorb all the dust, dirt, makeup, everything. But you must have Absolutely to have a everything. few because yeah. you don't want to use... You, you can use, use one side once. one day, one side the next, but you still need three or four to one. I know, but can I just say the practicality of that? Let me just do, because how many of you do it? It's clean, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So no, I'm, totally. I, I do that and then I'll go, and then I'll get my neck off. Oh, well then in so, which case you'd need seven of them, yeah, one how, every how day. How much are they? 
uh, it's, it's actually written on here. I bought mine in the States, but they're now available here. Yeah. That was $22. Okay, so for $100, you could have a new cleaning routine, which you think, do you think your skin changed as a result? Or it just I just really think clean? if you buy a cleanser and yeah. you kind of think, this isn't really working, it's not getting rid of my waterproof eye makeup. Yeah. So I love Tightline. We, we have totally yeah. different makeup regimes, which we'll go on to. I'm addicted to Tightline. You wake up in the morning, it's all down your face, even if you think you've cleansed it off. This super powers any cleanser you use. It's basically... Tightline. Tight, tight line is your eyeliner that goes up under uh, that okay, line I there yeah, in I the don't, base that yeah, you yeah, don't, no, because you've got your lashes. Yeah, I've got my lashes. She's okay. going to tell me off about my makeup later. How often do you wash it? Oh, you every, need to wash it every time you use it. It's like a flannel. It. It's, I think, you boil wash it. Okay, so I think that's really interesting. I mean, in a way, I should put some makeup on to take it off and see how it works. But what about your lashes? I don't want you to rip your lashes off. Because no, you're not an eye... We're very different. I'm an eyeliner, mascara, addict, waterproof. You're not. Yeah, I'm not. And if you are an eyeliner waterproof, and also, if, I don't wear a lot of base, but if you wear a lot of base yeah. and it doesn't come off at the end of the day, this basically supercharges everything. Okay. Do you use Foreo every single day? Twice a day. Okay, now this is really interesting. So you've got Foreo. Yeah. This is how we're different. Oh, I, I like think Clara that's... Sonic. I think that's... I would go... To that machine but i don't use it every single day i would only use it twice a week and i would only use it with the delicate heads on it okay so can i just say can we just talk tell me what you dislike about it because okay. there you go this is the head i use and okay. that's the cashmere head which is super right. soft uh, i'll tell you what i think i think clarisonic can be a fabulous cleanser but i feel it's for your second cleanse and I think the habit some women make is they'll put on their cleanser they'll still have their makeup on and they'll use that machine yeah. All right. And they are picking up dirt from their skin they've had all day. And this, I think, retains bacteria. This is just me. But if you use this and you've taken off your makeup and you're somebody who really does deep cleansing, because I do two cleanses in yeah. the morning if I no, can, like, like Caroline's kind of thing. Regime. A regime. But I do it usually with a, with a liquid cleanser and then a balm. So I would probably do the balm for my makeup, take that off, and with a liquid cleanser, use this. See, I use this a completely different way. Okay, how do you use it? I don't use this to cleanse. Mm -hmm. I use this with an enzyme exfoliant or a gritty exfoliant to give okay. myself a facial. Oh, you do? I use it the way it's used by okay. a facialist, right. okay. which is what they do is they then put, and I would team it with something like Francis Prenner Jones Clean well, and Prep, which is it. an enzyme cleanser. I'm doing an enzyme cleanser. Now I'm taking Francis Prenner Jones Clean and Prep. I don't have makeup on now i have a tiny bit of oh i love that cleanser i forgot how much i love it isn't it it's can i just say i know it was what? in selfridges and i hate the fact that it's so expensive oh, no. it's a killer this can i just say she's reformulated it and yeah. she's put a little bit more fragrance in and i like it less than i liked yeah. the original clean so what it prep. is it's clean and prep francis prenner jones she's an aesthetic doctor in the uk but it's an enzyme cleanser so what you do is if you put it on and then take yeah. it straight off it's not really going to work no you, you do, do that this. But in how two minutes, it's like a glycolic cleanser. If you leave it on your skin for a couple of minutes, work it in with yeah, that, yeah. you then get a mini peel while you you're do. at it. Well, I have just done a peel. Feel free on to Friday. use my Clarisonic I'm white. Because I have a very clean skin. But I'm going to just I do could it. get so that skin in water. Water. heaven. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just okay. going to do that. I think. Well, don't drip everywhere. It's okay. It's fine. Let me just turn off the water. So I think that. Any so this tool. is how I use it. I don't use it every day for cleansing. Yeah. I would use my makeup eraser every day for cleansing and then this once or twice a week yeah. as a sort of mini at-home facial. Yeah. It's, That's how I use it, you see. It's very therapeutic, that that kind of uh, uh, we've used and that I tell you what everywhere. It's really ladies. good on, okay. How oh, often do you ignore your neck, think you're suddenly getting super old and getting lines on your neck, and then you realise actually you've just got a grubby neck. So you basically need to go right down onto yeah. your neck, or as Caroline High would say, would say take it to the tits. Take you, it to the tits. That's a Caroline I'll tell you, I would say nipples and up. Nipples and up. I'd say, I had somebody on Instagram yesterday, Rosie, on Name and Shame Her, who said, um, Trini, about time you did some retinols on your neck, because yesterday I was doing a quick little thing, and I thought, okay, Rosie, I wonder, I, should I go and stalk you and say, okay, how, how old, old are you? you? And you're well. saying, look at your neck and sort out your neck. And I found it quite funny because I sort of don't care. I care because the neck goes more than the face. But I think the more we can do whatever we do on our face, on our neck. I, listen, listen I've done a, a vlog about this before, okay? So my skin to here is quite good. Here it's okay. Here it's terrible. If no, I, do, I think your skin there, for a woman who's over 50, is so good. I'm 55. Caroline. 
Nadine. I, that's in, that's entirely flattering. I don't mind being called Caroline, but can I tell you, this is this all needs treating and IPL because you put your SPF and your cleanser and everything down to here, and you forget to take it down to here. But and I, I really regret okay. that. All right. Can Slightly I, converted. Okay. All right. Um, I tell you what. Therapeutically, I love that thing but for me and I will clean it for you afterwards darling for me this which is my foreo because it's silicone you'll get told off for leaving that I know. On. it it's gonna do the same thing and I can make it higher well, it does a different thing because basically that uses like sonic waves to kind of empty your pores out yes in some ways I think that's more gentle well, which is why I wouldn't use this every day. I mean, I would use yeah. that's my cashmere head, which is the super soft one. Okay. I would use that twice. A, my, you, you use that with the cleanser. I use my Clarisonic twice a week with an enzyme or a glycolic cleanser. Right. But can we both agree, and this is where we want to head for, ladies, is that doing, doing proper cleansing is the beginning of any skincare Good. routine because there's ladies out totally. there who do kind of maybe you know l'oreal shift it and then spend a bit of time on some nice serum and it's nearly pointless because unless you've really cleansed your skin you've got to have a base to put product on which is going to be able to penetrate through and do something and there's tools in there i bet you've got to do that also i think that the more makeup you use and the more spf you use yeah. and i think girls today wear better quality bonding makeup. Like we didn't have double wear when I was growing up. So double wear Estee Lauder is so hard to get off. That's a classic bonding, long lasting makeup, but you've got to, if you don't cleanse it off at the end of the day, whatever you put on top, none of it's gonna go I in. I know, but can I just say, none of it's I feel down. so strongly that although you might think those are protecting the skin, and I get your point, Caroline, because if you look at someone like Joe Collins. <laughs> this is, okay, let me just start slowly. <laughs> Nadine, if you, I met once on a, a couple of times, Joan Collins, and I was once on a plane with her, and plane light is the most unflattering oh, light. Oh, yes. And Joan, Good it, for was, it, your was, it was probably about 10 years ago. And she, had, Joan has a lot of base on, but she has unbelievable skin, and she never went in the sun a day in her life, and she used exactly what you're saying, she used her base, which I don't think had SPF in it in those days, to protect her skin, because she put so much on. But my philosophy is, I want to see your skin. Mm -hmm. I want to see your skin. I don't want to see your foundation. So when I do my makeup, you know, if I take this and I look at in here my my um, foundation, mm -hmm. I want it to go on and I want you to think, where's the skin and where's the makeup? No, because one of the things I said to you was, oh my goodness, that's so little foundation. But actually, a little goes a really long way, long doesn't it? A, a really long, long way. way. But I want to just finish off tools and then Don't I'm going to do my tools. stack because I want to do my stack for your audience. But okay, we'll talk about that. Okay. Caroline doesn't like these, does she? But I really like I them. I love them. So this is a derma roller. Which a has, micro needle derma roller. Which is roller. a micro yeah. needle derma roller and it has 0.2 millimeter tiny little needles on it. And if I do it under here because I haven't got any makeup because you can't do it over the fact that you've got makeup on. You go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You'll see my neck go, go red. red, okay. Yeah. Which then what it does is it micro punctures the dead surface skin cells and yeah, then whatever like you're speaking you put, to a converted audience because I must do whatever you put day. on top goes in. Okay. Now you've got to be careful, don't team it with acids because acids aren't formulated to go under the skin. But if you team it with peptides or you team it with retinols or you yeah. team it with antioxidants, and the where the where I'm using it is because obviously I am who was the lady that said about your neck? Trini's yes, got a really Rosie, good neck. Rosie. I'm at that point in my life where I want to do that. Can I say a couple of points on this Go on. that um, you can get very technical or very basic so Amazon will do needles they'll do titanium rollers they can not start very at much. 10 pounds yeah which is great and um, I stick to 0 0.2 of a millimeter no, but it's not just about the length of the needle it's about how many are on the barrel Yes. Okay. But so, you're hardcore. I know. Because you go much longer because, than 0 0.2, don't no, you? No, but I, I go 0 0.2 when I'm doing every day, and I'll do 0 0.5 on my neck, and I'll do one on my body. But when you do a do body, you do a I do a Does body. Does it bleed? No, not at all. I have rhinoceros skin. But, but when you do the body one, the issue more is that it will the needles will blunt incredibly quickly so I've tried it do you remember ladies I did my left leg and not my right leg I and, remember that yeah and it is the skin is thicker on my left leg as a result of doing it and I did it for a month every three days and it's thicker but it's slightly 
like it has scar tissue underneath, but it but it's more solid, so it holds my cellulite denser. Like better. It's denser. denser, exactly. So it's quite interesting. It's an experiment to be undertaken very gently. But there's so two things. One is the how many how deep the needles are, and there the other one is how many needles they put on a barrel. Because mm. as you go across, it's how quickly you're going to get the next needle, and some are far denser than others. So I like fewer needles. Mm -hmm. Um, and some people but prefer longer. more needles. No, I, I like 0 0.2. Okay. I think that's a great everyday one. The most, most, so most important red. thing, a little bit, is to clean it. So if you get it, you might get it with a little spray, which I think they're pathetic with sprays. I just get surgical spirit yes. and spray it. And then what I usually do is I use it, I put it under running water, surgical spirit it, put it in its plastic container. When I bring it out again to use it, I just put it under running water again to get rid of the residue of, of the, the surgical, surgical spirit. spirit. So that's kind of that. But we both love that. So in our top five would be a roller. Yes. And yes. I would use it here. And actually, because I'm quite crepey here, I use it around my eyes before All I right. use my eyes. Okay. Them. But have you seen this? No, I want to see this. This is. This is do I need see, something to try? This? You're excited. Yeah, no, I'm you're going to try it. Okay, I'm okay. Try. So this like, is a Tria. Vibration in the bathroom. This is a Tria laser. Yeah. Okay, and what this is is a home pixel laser. Okay. So what this does is instead of using little physical needles. To drill so yeah. holes, this uses this laser. Laser. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So laser basically is going down and heating up your skin. That's why you can feel pricks with it. Yes. Heating up your skin to go and tell your collagen or the little tiny bit you have left, go and fight another day and regrow. That's yes. kind of in because as you get older, your terms. production of collagen and elastin slows. And what this does is it boosts it back up again. This would have been, do you remember you said, told me ages ago, that when you were younger and you had acne, yeah. and then you were left with the scars. And I did CO2 laser. This is the modern super high tech DIY equivalent. Well, I mean, that made my skin red for a month, but this isn't going to because they wouldn't sell it that way. So tell me what I do. So basically what you do yeah. is you roll it along the skin. Okay. Do you want to try it on your arm first before your face? No. Hard I because I'm fine. Core. On this. So I just, I, it will just start when yeah. I put it on. Yeah. Okay, so you feel that, you feel the little micro, micro prickles, prickles of heat. And you've got to have skin, it's got to be in contact with the skin because if it's yeah. not, it won't work. It actually comes with the gel, but you don't need the gel. You could use it with your normal hyaluronic acid. So serum. you're not going to see anything straight away. You'll go, I mean, I would go red. If I did that back and forth on my face, I would go red. I'm now the reason you, back and forth you go back work. and forth over each area two or three times and then that's it. In fact, it's it's timed. When it, comes, when it comes in the box properly, it's timed and you go over a certain area and certain back and forth. And what it does is it basically sends micro pixelated pieces of laser into your skin and drills tiny little holes into your skin. You can't see it. And then okay. what happens is yeah. the next feels day. Warm. Can I just, yeah. so it, it feels warm. It does it prick like right here. a bit. And I know, cause I did also appeal you on did Friday. Appeal on Friday. So I'm thinking, and I'm excited by the idea. Can I ask you how much it is? Yeah, it's about 400 pounds. Okay. A lot so if you went to have a treatment at, um, at a, um, not a facialist. By the way, I put her on three straight away. I didn't even okay. stop one. Um, then um, probably this kind of treatment could cost you anywhere from three to six hundred pounds to do a laser. Oh yeah, really easily. Right. So it's not going to be as strong as going somewhere, but many of you ask about these kind of treatments that I go and test out, and I'm sure Nadine, for her audience, hello there, I um, test them, them out too. So if you feel, no, I can't do that, but I really want the most fantastic Christmas present, and I'm going to get somebody to pay half of it with me, that could be because you can share that. Yeah, you can share that. You okay. Can share that. All right. Now, next, next somebody product. asked me what I thought of New Face, and New Face is microcurrent, and loads of people ask me this, yeah. and I'm telling you what I think of New Face. I think microcurrent works absolutely brilliantly, but it has to be very precisely placed, and I don't think it's something you can do. I think it's something that Caroline Hirons needs to do. She All would right. also say that right. about pixelated. I have to well. say, um, I'll give you my take on that. Is I use New Face uh, for about a year, and the, with the two little needle, the yep. two round heads, and I did my jaw. And I did it every day for about 10 minutes. And I do think it helped. Do you? Yes, I do think it helped. And I found the gel it came with it was shit. I think all the gels these things come with are not formulated brilliant and you just no. gotta to toss them away. They're just conducting use. gels. Yes, so that you, it just stops you. It just get, it gives you the ability to move up Blind. your skin like that. Yo, all right, fine. Okay, okay. so laser hair removal. 
Yeah, I got... Yes, 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 questions, yes. Lots of names asking about what you've talked about so far. Is it good for acne scarring, pigmentation, and rosacea? Which one? Which the, one? The so the okay, trigger. let's start. Well, let's start with. You turn that off. Let's, acne scarring, no, definitely. Yeah, you know, can I stop? Microneedling is really good for acne scarring, and also I do know people who have had help um, using it doing it with a nice penetrative serum or an oil, even like Philip Kingsley Trilogy, Rose Hill, which is great for rosacea, with the needling. Um, but needling, some people with rosacea, it's helped them a lot, but I think you have to be delicate with rosacea. I wouldn't know. Like, but I've, I've actually had some women who've, who've said to me on, on our channel, it helped me. So I'm just going to leave it out there that, that look at past posts because you'll see some women who have said it's helped my rosacea and I'd go and um, DM them straight away or go and get in touch them through our mutual Facebook page and ask them their experience and how they did it and how bad their rosacea was because I think there's nothing better than speaking to I, another rosacea I mean, I sufferer. think, look at that beautiful bird in your garden. Um, I think uh, rosacea should be treated with kid gloves. I think you need to go and see a proper dermatologist and see there are, a seri there are new creams out, new things available. There's cilantro, there's Rosex cream. I think calm the inflammation first. And then when you feel like the lines on the forehead are something that Nadine and I don't have so much because we've got Botox. I do, because I do, okay. look, because I haven't had right. my Botox done for months. Right. Look at that. But that, if you want to be extreme, Botox, but otherwise, if you want to soften them, some form of retinols are there to kind of change skin texture and soften lines. So Nadine's going to uh, go straight into That's the one she told me to get. That's my favourite all-time retinol. Okay, can we do it so it's not shiny, just yeah. so people can that see it? That is Neostrata ND Nag. And so it's we're going only... to one of your five products yeah. now. It's okay. the only retinol that I use that makes me peel yeah. as much of it as a prescription. All right. Because so, I've got quite tough skin like you, okay. I don't normally peel. Okay, so when women were talking just now about lines and about how can they deal with uh, pigmentation, um, I think, I have to say, microneedling, I do think is good for pigmentation. Yeah, it really, oh. it really is good. And if you use it in conjunction with a good vitamin C serum, I think that it gets a vitamin C serum further down. And I do like that combination and I've had quite good success. When I've had, very light pigmentation, so pigmentation that's been caused by sun as opposed to by hormonal change. I think hormonal change pigmentation Melasma is completely different. Is hard that's an inflammatory condition yeah. again. Yes. But if you if you've just got that, which is old lady sun damage, yeah. vitamin C, the best one in my opinion is the DCL 30% seascape nine. I quite like it, but I still like C E Furonic, Fluoronic, Foronic. By skin See, you, yeah, that's every morning though. That's only ten percent. I know. At I know. night, it's not ten percent actually. It's twenty percent. It's twenty percent. But I also like Dr. C bags because it's twenty-two percent yes. of lactic acid. And um, I think that the night one I've tried, but it depends. If you're a morning vitamin C person, I don't think I you should do, do it. Both. Do you think you can do no, both? No, I don't know. No, so because I think C C E Ferulic is preventative. I feel like it needs to get quite a high percentage. Can I just say she's going through the magic drawers? The saying, magic the magic drawers. Yeah, that's the boosting serum. I'm trying to find the nice Can I just say my one you. final gadget while she's sorting that oh, yeah, out sorry, is the know, Philips no, 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 no. Lumea I just want to show home you. laser remover. So I just there you go. The that's the so this is the product we were talking about. Sally Hughes did a brilliant thing in the Guardian saying it helped her melasma. Okay. So for your melasmas for ladies who suffer from pigmentation which is being stubborn, try that. And I do, if you're on a budget, the Ordinary Vitamin C, they do a 20% in silicon and a 20% in squalene, so which is, um, which so. is, uh, they're in tubes, which is um, olive oil extract. The squalene is very thick, very gritty, very moisturizing. The silicon one is much more velvety. I don't think either of them you can use during the day, even though the Ordinary say you can. I have. I don't think you can. I have, because I've brought them both up. On, on this, just, they're and they're incredibly greasy for during the day. Did yeah. your makeup sit well after that? Oh, it was fine. Well, they're gritty as well. Yeah. And I like the one, I mean, the one in silicone I prefer because it wasn't so gritty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just need to do what I want to do is I want to just. But they've now got a new 30% score bill, which is in an oil. Uh, which somebody's just asked about. Yeah. That I love. I think it's really nice. And Trini and I disagree about oils because I don't use scented oils. I do like oils, but they can't be scented. And okay. I think that's a really nice one. What have you just put on there? I just put on any old serum because I just want something to hydrate my skin before. Oh, I've given you a serum. Oh, okay, well then I'll take one. Sorry, I'm going to take it off. 
I'll take it off because I I'll be getting product. Oh, don't take it off. Lay it on top. Okay, hold on. This is my. Oh, do um, you really like that? Doc I love okay, that. so let's just tell the history behind this. Doctor Obagi actually did the first really good vitamin C because he did a a kind of pigmentation month program. He's obsessed with pigmentation. And he's obsessed. And he it came with hydrocortisone cream, which some people can be allergic to. And it came with a serum. And you could get 5, 10, 15, or 20% vitamin C. Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone, sorry. Hydroquinone. Which I don't think anybody should be using. No, because it's incredibly irritant for most people. It weirdly helped me because I just had Lila. But you, but you had it on prescription, right? I had it through his kind of... Um, through put his, your eyebrows uh, back yes, up. Yes, I put okay. my eyebrows back up. So... Um, he then left Obagi and started Doctor, which you're going to show. Zo Skin Health. Doctor yeah. Zo Skin Health, which I have been reticent to try. Okay, so there okay, are two so things. I want you there's... to tell me what okay, you're so, so, so what is this I'm trying? So this is so there are two parts of the new Obagi collection. Yeah. The Zo Medical, mm -hmm. which is the hydroquinone, really high vitamin C, and then there's Zo Skin Health, which is just these everyday products. Okay, and this so is this is, and an that is one of this. Every, this is Zo Skin Health Daily Power Defense. And it's the most beautiful daily hydrating serum that just contains Loads and loads and loads of antioxidants. So it's just a barrier between you and the outside okay, world. Okay, it goes on very nicely. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, it goes on Super nicely. light, super cool like skin tights. A tiny bit of vitamin C in it. No, it's got a slight citrusy smell yeah. to it, but it has definitely got vitamin C in it. It's got some ascorbic acid, I think, something. Okay, it's nice. I would need a moisturiser on after this, but I would find I could put this on under my eyes and then I wouldn't do an eye cream because you no. and I are different on eye cream. So I'd take my serum right up like that and put it on. I put yeah. all my serums right around my eyes and right okay. down my I'm going to now do my makeup Go because on. I want it to be as nice as you because we've gone through most products. So I'm going to start off just for you, you look as nice here. as me without makeup. <laughs> no, I just, <coughs> I had a peel on Friday so my skin's a bit red. So I've got my have? stack. I did one with Dr. Rabia and I did a Julia Hunter peel, okay. which is an American um, lady. You love Julia Hunter. I love Julia you? Hunter. So I'm going to start with my BFF cream, which comes in a tube, but I decant it to my pot. And now, can I say, when I interviewed Trini, I interviewed her for my very last piece for Hello Magazine. She took me to one side, took all my makeup off, told me off because we have different different views on makeup and she did my face and I got so many beautiful beautiful you comments do. saying I love your skin it looks super glowy the thing is we get so used to a we makeup we get stuck look. in a rut all right I think many of us do and we I've had many women who have said to me you know when I change if I decide to change my makeup routine watch this I'll foundation go on okay I'm so sorry. this is the foundation and you see I've got a red nose do you see mm, barely but no I have actually <laughs> Uh, that was a really nice angle. That was a really attractive <laughs> shot. Okay, really. I don't give a shit. Um, and then here I've got redness too. And this is called Just a Touch. And basically it just blends It just blends in. into your skin. You don't even wear it the whole way out, do you? You just no. wear it on the centre panel. I wear it where I need around it. Around your eyes. If I use the amount of products on my face, it would just irritate it. What are the basics? Well, I'd say... Double, gentle double cleanse. Yes. A hyaluronic acid. Yep. Trini, are you doing a 50ml BFF cream? I did BFF. Oh, am I doing a 50ml? Oh, well, maybe. Good thought. Um, I'll tell you what, I use my BFF. I do a pump in the morning and a pump at night. So it will probably last me two to three months. Um, it depends how much you use. Somebody just told me, can I just say what somebody said to me, who's a fan? They said, I use this Trini on my hands because I hate how my hands look. And they put and it, it on their hands. And it gives an instant soft focus, yeah. And it just, she said, everyone said, my hands look so young. So if you also used it on your hands, I'd say two months. Yeah. Um, but just a touch, going back to just a touch. You I, carry on. So basically yeah, the yeah. skincare basics would be a really gentle double cleanse, I think a hyaluronic acid serum and a antioxidant richer cream or serum. Yeah. That's your absolute basic, isn't yes. it? A vitamin C you could put in there. I put a vitamin C as a basic. I mean, as an antioxidant, to be honest, your, your, to be honest, your antioxidant should have vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, it should have it all in anyway. Sorry, I just dropped my scarf. Oh, darling, don't Which worry. Which is my only attempt, can I just say, of not being in all black around you, Trina. Thank you, darling, I'm very grateful. That? I'm now doing... I feel doing... like I should have a faux fur and a gilet and a pair of cropped <laughs> trousers well, that's easy. I'm now doing my cheekbones. So cheekbones is a weird thing. And you oh, do no, bronzer, I love this. but yes. this actually you put into the um underneath no, this your is the perfect color and also down. i put that now under there 
to hide my little oh, do you? poochy That's bit. Very you haven't idea. got a little poochy bit, but I've got And then bit. eyes. Some of us feel funny about doing eyes every day. You, you know, I think we all do our eye makeup. We all do our makeup in a different way. So for me, it's about looking fresh skin and then something to make blue eyes pop. So today I'm doing Fortune and I expect to not have to use a brush. So I put it on my finger like that. And I go in and I literally go in and I do a little bit. This is like two eye colours in one and then I do the other side. I think your eye colours are absolutely beautiful. When then, Cha Cha did my makeup, it looked gorgeous and they are a beautiful, long lasting, creamy, velvety to powder formulation. Thank you, darling. Really Thank beautiful. Thank you, darling. Really Have gorgeous I seen colours. It? Now, Trini has lash extension, so she yes, doesn't do. need mascara. I don't need mascara. And then I'm going to use her eyebrows tinted as something well. different. Yes, I do. I'm going to use something different. I'm going to use, we got lip to cheeks, and I every day do different ideas on my products. So I'm going to use quite a dark lip to cheek, which is called Munchkin. Just to give myself. Where does Munchkin come from? It's a, Charlotte that, uh, and I have this, like, Charlotte, like who's my makeup artist. An affectionate artist, term. Have, you know, we've worked together for 20 years. And when we'd see a woman who was a certain kind of woman, who was kind of cutesy yeah. pixie, we'd go, she's such a munchkin. munchkin. And when we were building our tech, there was a very sweet girl there um, called Joyce. And she was a real munchkin. She was that kind of girl. And so I hope then, you're watching Joyce. We've got we a then, named after you. Yeah, we then named after her. So I'm doing Munchkin here. And I like to always, you know, people have bought products and they're building a tower. So I have just my stack, which is my five. But at the bottom today, I'm going to show no, you. No, but addicts will have 50 in their tower. Well, stack. We have had people you. send pictures in and they've kind of said, how high can my tower go? And they've yeah. got like 20 products. Some people bought their whole match to me. So match how many, if you bought your entire match to me and I'm a Santa, how many would there be? There would be about 24 products. Wow. I'm doing lit glow. I love that as well in Maddie, and then I'm gonna take the last bit of my lip glow and just put it on my cheek to soften the cheek. It's not sticky, it's just glowy. And many, not many, some women say, oh, will my fingers get dirty? And I kind of use it all up before I'm at the end. So my fingers now are clean. I've done my makeup. I literally shove it in yeah. my, I don't need a bag, I just shove the bag in my bag, or I, have, or I have a something protruding from my, yes. Gorgeous. So that's me and makeup, makeup done. Makeup done there. Um, and that's simple. Somebody was saying to me, Nadine, can you find, can you name products that have got those in? And that's what I've named. So, okay. every day, so yes. back to the products we were talking about. Now that, I appreciate these are expensive and I really How much are they? So let's recommend let's, let's It's like 129 and that's like 85. That's a fucking killer of price point, ladies. We know that um, we can bring up ranges that have key ingredients like the ordinary. Um, oh, you've got C if you're on it now. Yeah, so C.E. Yes. Ferulic, I, there's never but a day when I don't use but it. But that's what I'm saying, I call it C.E. So Ferulic. I put that and the, under that. Under the night. I don't think you what? can layer enough. Under that, under yes. Under the daily yes. power yes. So my everyday is... Copper acetate. No, multi-molecular. Do you like multi... Okay, okay, let's... Okay, let's, let's, okay slow down. <laughs> slow down. So, Niod is the top range of Decium, which yeah. also makes the ordinary. And they have the ordinary, indeed, and Niod. So... Copper isolate is something I told you later about, comes in a bottle that. very similar. Love and that. it's something that sort of indirectly helps to regenerate um, the structure of your skin. It doesn't work directly because it has this kind of it's chemical breakdown. Yeah. It's a peptide, yeah. so it goes in and they, they work like a little army. So um, They send messages into the skin basically to say, Make more collagen yes, and exactly, elastic. Exactly. But it, we think it, but we both think it smells weird. It smells very weird. It does smell like you've put a, a, a rusty old pipe on your face. But Which that's I, not I goes. quite like the smell yeah. of active. You think it's you, working? I, no, because yeah. then you think it's working yeah. even more, so we can get there. But I'm interested because I have the multi-molecular hyaluride complex and I haven't used it. So is this hyaluronic acid and is it sticky? It's not sticky. Uh, it is hyaluronic. The Sabag one is very sticky. Yeah. And I love the Sabag one. Put it on my and thing. what I use is I use the Sabag one under here because it does this sort of and it tightens my okay. neck. This one is not okay. because Hold it's it up. Because it's when would you use it? Sorry. Every when would you single use morning. It? When in your routine? Uh, straight on my skin after cleansing. Before vitamin C. Yeah. Then oh, I use on I my then around. I use my C ferulic and then I use daily power difference. Okay. So every I, single morning. I do a different layering to you and I think a lot of people say what should we use first? So I used to always do vitamin C before anything else because I somebody told me a long time ago 
it only works when it's right by the skin, not when another product is underneath it. So that's just from my opinion. Until I then was looking at the copper isolate and the copper isolate even more so needs to work on a clean skin. So my routine now would be the copper, copper isolate, isolate, then the then CE Furonic. 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 I always call it Furonic, but they know I call it Furonic, so that's probably, they'll realize what yeah. it is now. Then a serum, so I'm always yeah. in different serums. Yeah. So, your, so your routine now is that. And then, so it's hyaluronic acid, first. CE Ferulic. I don't think it makes any difference, okay. to be okay. honest. As long as they don't have any oil in them, yeah, because the oil will form or silicone, right. they'll form a okay. barrier. Then that, then and that's my, that's me most of the year. And then I would put a cream on in winter where I need. Alright, so I what needed. cream would you put on? What um, moisturizer? Uh, I, mean, uh, I, I triple, li have triple it lipid from uh, from Skin Cuticles. I'm not really fussy about my creams. Yeah, you see, it is AG about, interrupter yeah. by, and it's just, that's okay. about comfort, whereas my serums are about active. Can we just, and I, I also just say, you know yes. you say you love oils. Yes. I really love that range, and that's the Estadum. Institute Estadone, that's the vitamin yeah. E. Um, vitamin oil, A, vitamin A, oil. vitamin A, vitamin A, so that's kind of in the retinol family, yeah, but, but you're going to yeah, use that in the morning. It's not a retinol. I, mean, I, I, I find the consistency of that oil, because you're not an oil person. I'm not an oil official. I find that's not a great base that it's sitting in, I have to say. I don't. I think I it's, it's just grapeseed. Very, yeah, but I find grapeseed a bit I would only use that at night. Yeah. yeah. But can I just, I think what's, what's really important in this whole conversation we're having is many women say, I just need a great moisturizer. What's a great moisturizer? And I think what we're kind of trying to suggest is moisturizing is the least of important. The least important thing in terms of if you're looking at products that help you bring back the signs of age or just Shh. just just wanting your skin to look plump and and um, good. So if I had to say number one is a tool that actually stimulates my skin. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say, right. I honestly, hand on heart, my moisturiser would be the least important yes. part. Yes. Okay. I would choose uh, an antioxidant, I would choose serums, I would choose, and I put them all around my eyes, yeah. I would choose a great cleanser, yeah. I would choose tools. My moisturiser is, is my add-on at the last minute. Yes, I agree. I would rather okay. lay on another serum. Yes, I So, agree back in the day, skincare used to be... Cleanse, tone, moisturize, cleanse, yes, tone, yes, moisturize, yes, cleanse, yes, tone, which moisturize. Which many ladies still do, which do. because that's a routine And women my to. age. I'm not being yes. patronizing no, my age. No, because it's here. something that you started with Clinique yeah. 3-step, yeah. and you were born in the 60s or 70s, and that's what everyone did, and you kind of copied what your mum did, and there was no, there was nobody telling you all the other things that might be out there, because there was nothing else out there. Yeah. But so now, now so instead of choice. having one cream, I would rather have two or three yes. serums. Okay. And then, just to say peels, have you yes. tried this? I've got it here to try. You're going um, to love and it. I it. So, what have I got here? This so one? check this yes, out. Yeah. This, this is yes. the ordinary AHA 30%, BHA, BHA 2% yeah. peeling solution. And it's this really scary one that looks like So that. tell me when to use it, Nadine, because I've got it to, in my sort of testing pile. And I was thinking... To do peels at home, yeah, um, you want them quite sort of. You don't want to be scared of them. So no, what and this is a completely non-scary one apart. So from it looks really scary. Is though. this going to make you flake, or is this just no. a really strong exfoliating? It's just a beautiful exfoliant. You okay. leave it on for ten to fifteen yeah. minutes. Um, I mean, I would be really naughty and get my Clarisonic out on top of that. So yeah, I would too. That on I, 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 know. Yeah, I would too. Separated right. at birth. I, I, so I think that we started. I could leave that on my hands now, honestly. Yes. We could finish here. I could go home, have breakfast, peel it off. I would still All be right. fine. So let's do that because we want to do hand, Put it on. It's hand like things tingling. on a Sunday morning. Um, but I, I don't know why I've got such nice looking hands. I don't deserve do. them. I've you never have, looked after them. Because you, really have, unfair. you have an olive skin and it's really I do. Nice. I do so have that's really why. olive skin. Um, you have a much thicker, denser skin than me, but I have a really olive skin. Yeah. You've got blue eyes and I've got black eyes. But, got but I think the difference is that I um, have a thicker skin on my face, but on my decollete and on my hands I have a much thinner skin mm. than you, because then I'm getting Scottish. Because um, I'm half look, Scottish. You've just seen, look, you've just really put that on. You're so different the way you use things. I put it on really thinly. Yeah. You've put it on really thickly and now it's started to foam on you. And it, what I want to do is I always feel if I keep moving it will activate more so I really feel it tingle and sometimes I don't have much time so I feel if it's something that activates passively if I move it around it will activate in a far more um, actively. actively way far more actively way Jesus Christ did I just say that can I just say also yeah she had not got an extension in her hair no, I her hair did. is 
to like, die for. It's as thick as a horse's <laughs> mane. It's. I tell you why. It's, it's bloody can I tell gorgeous. You why? I'm can sorry. I'm so why? jealous. Most women know that I used. Hello, ladies. I'm so sorry. I'm talking to my own ones. No, I know. Um, but most ladies know I used a, a clip in, and I'd say my friends. And then you I don't started. Need them. No, it was quite thin. And then I started using biotin, mm -hmm. and I take. A huge amount of biotin a day. I don't know if there's I'm going to start downside, taking it now. But I take um, four pills from the Solgar biotin in the morning and four at night. Do you night. really think it's made a difference? And I think it's made a difference. I'll tell you why I think it's made a difference. Because here, where I felt I was receding, that's baby broken hair. Off. Yeah. No, that's not broken off hair. Broke, that's yeah. broken off. Yeah. That's the. And I think as we get older, this bit will go here. That bit will go. All right. And that bit goes for a number of reasons. It goes because when you're going through menopause, you tend to have hot flushes at some stage. Even if you uh, we're both under bioidentical hormones. Would you use a sizzly neck cream? No. No. You wouldn't. Don't believe in neck creams. No. There's nothing special about your neck. Mm. That is any different to here or here. It's marketing. You use higher. everything. If you love sizzly down. face creams, you just use your face face cream all the way down. The neck cream is thicker. I'll tell you one thing about the skin on the neck. It's a yes, different Nutella, consistency. Perfect hair. It's a very different consistency. Finer. Um, it's finer and yet it's harder to penetrate. Because I remember Seabag saying that to me. So you know when you when you're working on same with Fito Busti Colite. Yes, you wouldn't use it. Never. No. no, there's no such thing as an active neck cream, cellulite cream, or bust cream. It's all the same skin. Mm. Just use something with retinol in. Save your money. Retinol queens here. Yeah, they are. Yes. Okay. Next question. Uh, Alex, have we missed out questions? We have what? I'm a skincare what? expert for Sizzly. I've got nothing against skin Sizzly at all. Oh no, I think it's can, a beautiful can I say, range. Can I just say the opposite? Just because you can use face creams anywhere you want. Can I just say Sizzly has two of my favourite go-to creams. So if I'm wanting hydration and nurturing and comfort, I use their Black Rose mask, which I love. And then they made a Black Rose moisturiser cream, yep. and I love it. It's my it's my luxury. If I'm at the airport and I haven't bought anything that month, I will go to Sizzly and I'll buy those two products because I feel the immediate they're hydration. Comforts. They're and like they, a hug in a jar. They're a hug in a jar, and they're the first brand that did really beautiful um, plant-based extract ingredients. Um, yes, so I do Anna, like protect my chest. Anything you wish you'd done for your skin at 31, not sunbathe and not and protect my chest okay any other finish finish the hair advice what was the supplement the supplement was because we Solgar so, we, we biotin. It, it's Solgar biotin and i take i've taken three or four in the morning and three or four at night and then also what i've done which i'm waiting to see if it works is i went we both see diana at dr seabag can you talk about your bioidentical cream yes i will um and um i use i've tried prp also in my hairline um, to you? stimulate stimulate the hair follicle and Diana who is the doctor at Dr. Seabags who does that treatment do I need to get to laser my chest um, she's brilliant she has a number of clients who had hair loss and especially hair loss that's been from shock or from a treatment or something mm -hmm. and by doing the PRP which is basically taking the plasma of your own blood and putting it back in a little um in a little um massotherapy way which are these needles attached to a little gun it helps stimulate the hair follicle and and grow that hair very so you've well. had a combination so I just want to say that, that. yeah so if you really have proper hair loss and you're prepared to spend money that's an extreme thing to do but there's been very good results on it i think some people if you have very bad hair loss and they've done transplant you have to be very aware that the hair i was asked my hairdresser the other day the hair can grow back in a very different condition from your other hair and it can be quite difficult to manage but i'd love feedback on that too so give each other feedback any of you who have hair issues and say what you've been doing as well same with my followers as well make sure you speak to each other can i just say yes Trini's hair is naturally very, very coarse. Mine is naturally fine. Yep. I've got a lot of it, but it's fine. But so what Trini's talking about here is not making each individual hair thicker. She's, it's areas where it's actually thinned, which does exactly. happen. Yes, as you get exactly. older. Somebody asked me about Paula's Choice products. Yes, I absolutely love Paula's Choice products because they're reasonably priced. They're that middle market. Yeah. So they're that sort of Clinique, Estee Lauder market. Yeah. It's really unscented plain mm -hmm. good formulations and that's my resist vitamin a intensive repair cream for night and i'm sorry you can't try it but you would love it because yeah. oh there you go there's a tiny bit left tell me what you think of that i quite like that it's quite buttery it smells of retinol don't stinks, smell it and think it's going to smell of nice stinks of retinol i don't believe in scented i think paula dorf it's really interesting and paula i'm going Bagun. through I, paula Bagun. yeah 
But it's Paula Dorf, it's called, isn't it? No, Paula oh, Begun. That's Paula Begun. Uh, Paula's Choice, I mean, Paula's sorry, choice. Paula's Choice. Um, I, oh, why yes, I look, Dorf? Paula's Choice is good, you should yeah. start on it. A good clay mask. All right, can I just say, on Paula's Choice, I want to ask you then about these others. Can you hold that for a second, darling? That's the Neo so, Strata. I'm just answering somebody's question. Yes, That's absolutely. the Neo Strata um, Retinol Nag product. But that, don't worry, that, and there's a 1%. Um, night cream that Paula's got are my absolute go-to retinols on a day-to-day -day basis. This one does really make me peel. It really does. In fact, Caroline said to me that this was too strong for her skin. She's well, got I'm, really great I'm balanced skin. You know have you habit. tried Dyson hair dryers? Yes. And I don't even want to admit that I love them. I, I love them. I dried my hair with my Dyson hair dryer this morning. I loved it. I hate it. I really didn't think I was going to love it. And I Can love I it. tell you why you loved it and I didn't? Because I've got fine hair and you've got thick hair. Yeah, because I think if you have fine hair and you blow dry with it, um, they invent the technique so when it blows, when you blow down the follicle, um, it sort of slightly thickens your hair. It's Neostrata with a T. Sorry, it's, Nina. We'll come back and we'll talk hormones because hormones are really yeah, should important. Should we just do? Because uh, I'll tell you the things Nadine and I are thinking of doing, and you say, ladies, what you've most liked to do. Thumbs up, do thumbs best. down. Yeah. yeah. So one is to have a hormone chat about what we both do for menopause. I think a lot of you are going to say that. People Let's need to talk about the menopause. There's nothing shameful about it at all. No, and we both talk about it, so yeah. we know that's a given. The other one is we're being fucking lazy about doing some exercise at the moment. So we were thinking, should we do something together? which gets us up. So what we do gets is if we're, gonna, backs up. Yeah, if we're gonna buddy up um, and we might decide a week in which we do this. So we're gonna buddy up and we're gonna, every morning before we start work, so some mornings might be six out of eight, yep. just to warn you, um, we will do something and try something together that we introduce each other to. So I might take Nadine around the park on my crazy routine. You might take me something else. We I'll do take you to parkour. And then you, and then you, Pilates, <coughs> yoga, because basically we were <coughs> both really, really, really fit a few yeah. years ago. And we've let it slide yeah. and we're really uncomfortable with it. And we feel like we'll, if we tell you and we buddy up, then, then we'll we can introduce you each other. to lots of different ways that we think work out because basically we're fundamentally really lazy and we don't like running anywhere. Yeah. So basically what we want to do is we want to buddy up, introduce you to do new exercise and tell you what works and what doesn't. Great. And have fun. What do you and, think? And have fun. We will So we'll do mornings, it. every single morning we'll do it on Facebook yeah. Live. All right. I think we should Chloe do it. To to um, video it for we'll, us. We'll, and we'll get somebody to video it. And or we'll I do could video that. you, you could video me back and forth. We could do. Have or we fun. could just have somebody filming the comedy act because I think it will be naughty girls in class. So, and when we do that, what I think would be really good is you find a woman that you can buddy up with too and you do it that week with us. Um, so we'll all find different classes around the place. I mean, it will be classes, but also you just want to get me into a park and get me moving. I do, yeah. I do. But I quite like, you know what I'd like to do is things that I've always thought, how hideous do I ever want to do it? Sweat box yoga. I mean, it sounds so disgusting. And I, I see, don't like to sweat with my clothes on. <laughs> but also I don't like to feel how many um, bacteria are on that yoga mat. Okay. So I have to bring my own. My sister's obsessed with hot yoga. Okay. And she got a fungal foot infection. Okay. So I'm convinced. Okay. All right. I think we'll stop at fungal foot infection. We want to say a very nice thank you to Nadine for coming into the bathroom. And I think it's a beginning of a beautiful, fruitful Friendship, relationship. Yes. And we um, thank you so much, all of Nadine's ladies, thank for joining you. us in my bathroom. And um, we will be in touch soon with new ideas. Mwah.